even long. Relata Shira. That's what I'd call myself. Let me put it this way. If you're looking for equipment, I'm sure I'll have borrowed items. I'm not sure what you mean. Safe travels. Curious one, aren't you? I hate to say it, but a good crater never reveals his secret, son child. Please. <laughs> 
Walk blessed. What? Who are you? Oh, really? And what could someone working for the Order bring down to a place like this and risk spoiling his fine garments? A black stone? No idea what you're talking about. Now, is there something else? If not, leave. Time is sparse these days. What? Listen to me. This is my 50th year in the League, and if I don't know anything about a black stone, then no one does. Now, let us... And I don't like it when people think a big sword on their back gives them the right to go around riding roughshod over anyone who doesn't lick their boots. Oh, this the is my 50th year, year in the I've league, and if you. I don't know anything about a black oh, thank the stone, sun. then no are. one does. I followed now, you. It's about your mission. Off. I know that the Grand Master ordered you to find the black stones, and I believe I know where to find the one you were looking for down here. Far away from here, and I can show you where. The only thing I ask of you is that no one must know about my part in this. Promise me that, and I'll tell you what I know. Thanks. Believe me, I don't like this any more than you do. I remember coming here as a child. The apothecary gave me something to eat before setting me on the streets again. All that, it seems so distant now. It's easy to forget about the other side of the coin once you haven't seen it for a while. All right, this is better. Have you ever heard the name Dalgalar? Healer of the poor. Yes, that's what some people called him. It doesn't do him justice, though. Dalgalar helped everyone, regardless of his wealth. The only difference was that he had the rich people pay for their treatment. Do you also remember why he left Ark? Yes. For him, the end justified the means. For example, it is said that he once healed a crippled soldier by replacing his lost leg. The League considered such practices pathless, but Dalgalar refused to give in. And that is how they came to blows. Finally, Dalgalar left Ark and moved into a remote old castle in the Frostcliff Mountains. True, but people fear what they don't know. It has always been like that. I guess you know the rest of the story. He became more and more reclusive until one day, he locked the gates and was never heard from again. The apothecaries say that it was his eccentricity which was to blame, but I think there is more to it than that. I know it did. I recently read the notes of one of the few apprentices he permitted to come with him. And this is where it gets interesting. Dalgalar researched something he only referred to as the Angel. No one but him was allowed to take part in its creation, and he hired dozens of mercenaries to get him the resources he needed for his experiments. Books, relics, rare herbs, things like that. And one of those relics was a small dark stone, shining like the skin of an eel. Yes. What do you think, Saira? That does sound like a lead, doesn't it? I was waiting for that question. I am interested in all this because there is a rumor as to what the angel was supposed to be. A talisman. 
One that allows its bearer to heal any disease in the world, even... And I want to find this angel, Saira. Isn't it obvious? Because I want to be healed. Yes. If there's even just a sliver of a chance that this device, whatever it is, can help me, I have to take it. And that is also why the Order must not know about any of this. I can't allow anyone to learn the truth about me, not until I've dealt with it. <sighs> yes. I found us a map that should point the way from the Frostcliff Tavern. And thank you for helping me. I know I might not show it that much, but I appreciate your... Uh, friendship. I really do. Blazes, damn it, this is ridiculous. It's called life, Nathalia. Thirty per sheave, and not one penny less. Oh. Let the flesh maggots have you! May your path always be even, my dame. What? I don't see how that concerns you. Don't you have some theatre play to attend to, Sunchild? Ugh. <laughs> I don't see how that concerns you. Help me? Well, I doubt that. That is, unless you have a pouch of 300 pennies to give up. I... I don't know. I'm sorry. You seem like an upright kind of fellow, but I can tell you're from the surface. And I... You're really nosy. That son of a virtue over there, Cabal Thorwald. He's the only merchant in the Undercity who still has Vinroot in his stock. Well, and if the Apothecary in the Pest House doesn't get new roots soon, the infected they treat there will start dying like flies within a day. <laughs> they good, and they do. Aye. But that's by far not enough. Especially since the cloister of the League up north has been snowed in for moons now. And as noble as their intentions are, they only have so much coin without their League backing them up. Sure, by day. And by night I work as the Grandmaster's personal Kalean dancer. <laughs> Jokes aside. Nah, I'm just an errand girl. But you're no alchemist, are you? <laughs> Aye, red vine root is the only thing that can help get those flesh maggots out of an infected body. I repeat, can. Even with a proper treatment, most... Maybe you could, huh? I guess it'll be worth a shot. We need at least ten sheaves so that the apothecary can make use of them. And I don't want to seem ungrateful. Huh? Well, fine then. Good luck. <sighs> oh, by the name of the sun. Won't this ever stop? Tell Nathalia, the apothecary, or whoever sent you that the price stays. If you knew where I stole them, yes. <sighs> Listen, I know exactly what you think. This ruthless bastard, how greedy, how evil, and so on and so forth. But that's not how it is, believe me. So, back to business. Are you looking for supplies? If not, just shove off. Yeah, now that's a surprise. I expected a speech. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Huh? Blazers? You're serious? Where? On second thought, bet I don't ask. Thank you, Sunchild. You saved a lot of lives today. Funny rats. Eating the last penny right out of your pocket. You're not one of the Relata's mercenaries, are you? Work has it there for you in the
not the Sheriff. You know why we're here. The Shadow Tax is due. My sir, I'm sorry. But the past moves have been kind to us. End of and the day. Do you want protection? Yes, yes. Of, of course, my sir. We want protection. Then pay. We're keeping our end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. It's a uh, choice. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Of course. Forgive me for my insolence, my sir. You'll have the money by tomorrow. See? It can be so simple. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle themselves. Idiot.
Captain Yanu Orai, hereby confess my sins. For decades, I imprisoned men and women from all continents of Vin and sold them to the highest bidders. Penny, madame. Please, just one penny. An obelisk, my dame. Please, the Lord will redeem you for your kindness. Madame? Yes?
I, Boreo Oakenvale, hereby confess my sins. For decades, I abducted children from the Undercity and locked them in this basement. I defiled them, let them starve, and then sold them to the highest bidders, who, like me, were also driven by carnal sins and perverse desires. Now, however, the time of punishment has finally come, and I thank the boat. Greetings. Madame? Yes? My words, O oh path of the people of this holy city, Madame, from this day, there's... walk blessed, my friend. You look disheartened. Yes? Oh, lovely adherers of the... In 
no bed. Sorry. Wait a moment. <coughs> you You? Why are you here? What? Uh, no, no, I... Don't worry about it. I just needed some air. <sighs> you know, I've had this question in my head for quite some time now, and I, I can't figure out the answer to it. Okay. Imagine a girl. Ever since she was a child, she's been abused by her father. Beaten, in other words. She grows to be a woman, and eventually her father dies. Then she falls in love with a man who has a lot of similarities with her father. She doesn't know why she loves him, but she does. And though it all seems nice in the beginning, he becomes more and more aggressive, starts screaming at her for no reason, until one day he too grabs the cane she knows all too well. Now, the question, on a very... The woman herself, because she unconsciously picked a man similar to her father, or her father, because he was the one who beat her in the first place. That's the comfortable answer. But doesn't that rid us of any kind of, I don't know, responsibility? Doesn't it make us slaves to our past? <sighs> I don't know. No particular reason, I suppose. Anyway, you said you were looking for me. What, so the Archmagister really believes we Delverics owned one of those stones? I would have known that. Believe me, I've snuck inside our manor's treasure chamber more than once. And there was no black stone whatsoever. Not in the least, no. Setting aside the fact that what you're describing is bloody spooky, I don't have the slightest idea who might have an interest in sending me on this morbid paper chase through Ark. Either whoever did this has mistaken me for someone else, or we're dealing with a seriously disturbed individual. Yeah, I already suspected as much. But still, it doesn't change the fact that I have no idea who might be behind this, and why he sent me this package and not, for example, the Ark Guard. No, none. That's... Wait. Could you show me those letters again? By the wise hermit, that's... No, that, that's not possible. These fragments, if you combine all of them, they make a sentence. Knock, knock, who's there? Come in alone, if only you dare. It... but... No, that doesn't make sense. I know that phrase from my childhood. Adela and me, it was... it was our code, when we snuck out of the house to go on one of our expeditions. Yes, but... no, that, that just doesn't make sense. Adela's an apothecary, not a goddamn assassin. You said one of the corpses you found was a hired killer. How, how in blazes could my sister kill someone like that? And... why? Oh, come on, that's just bullshit. Even if the stone somehow gave her the power to do this, Adela wouldn't hurt a fly. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Meet me in Duneville. I'll take you to our hideout. Can I...
Madame. 